Goldwyn, Corby. Morningstar launches a three. She's Big, got it. huge three. Nothing great, but that. Great shot by Lily. After taking down TBL rival Holliston in the first round, 52 to 27, on Saturday, March 3rd, the fourth seeded Hopkinton Hillers girls basketball team hosted the fifth seeded Medfield Warriors in the Central Division II sectional quarterfinals. Reagan spots up, buries a three. Senior forward Regan Caveney led the charge with 14 points and 11 rebounds. Hubner penetrates out, finds Reagan. Reagan lets it fly and got it. We got a one point game, Mike, 37-36. Hillers come storming back after being down by eight. Ivy Goglin had 13 points of her own. Heading to the fourth quarter, Ivy only had three points, but took over in the final eight minutes. Clear out, Morningstar has a speed advantage. Nice job by Caveney. Smart move not to go up with it. Oh, great look inside. Ivy, nobody there, and she's got it. 43-40, Hillers by three. Goglin, Caveney really coming to life in this fourth quarter. McCarthy's gonna try to do it, she's the captain. Kinney again, comes up short. Keaveney again with another rebound. She has been cleaning the glass. Again, she's gotta to learn to throw that bounce pass. Reagan comes up off the backside of the rim, but Morningstar rips a rebound down. Smallest player on the court. She's going in, she's got room. Oh, and she does a great up and under. 45-40, Hillers, 111 to go. Three. Gotta play some good defense she, here now and took, be awake. She took Kitty weak side there. Oh, there great block by Goglin. Goglin with the rejection. Use your clock there, use wow. your clock, use your clock. With under a minute left, Callie Corby got the ball. Put the ball in Callie Corby's hands. Callie comes over half, she's gonna get trapped. Nice job with it, nice job with it. Back up top. Callie lets one fly. Got it! Oh! Oh! oh my goodness! 49-42, wow. Callie Corby hits the, that was the killer. She hits the three, and that would be all she wrote. The Hillers grab the 49-42 victory over Medfield and advance on to the semifinals. To add to the lead, up four. Corby with it, steps back, three. Oh, oh the back oh, for oh, Callie Corby. Oh, man. Knocks down the three, a huge shot. Eerily reminiscent of a three Medway hit to uh, take the lead late against Neshoba in the game before this one. And that gives Hopkinton a seven point lead going into halftime. Six huge points from Callie Corby. On Monday, March 5th, the fourth seeded Hopkinton Hillers girls took on first seeded Groton Dunstable at Clark University. And right at the halftime buzzer, Callie Corby with another postseason buzzer beater to send the Hillers into the halftime locker room up seven. Oh, nice Pass dig. inside, taken away. Caveney with the steal. Under About control. Eight second difference in the shot and game clock. Plenty of time. Goglin inside. There we go. Gets the right hand hook to fall. In the game, Ivy Goglin put up a team high 11 points and 12 rebounds. Like a third one. They got to take care of the ball a little better than that. Goglin brings it up. Pass over to Caveney. She launches a three, knocks it down. Regan Caveney added nine points and nine rebounds, as well as three assists. Ball up to Goglin. She finds Prawl under the hoop. Nice, nice spin. Great move from Marissa Prawl. And Marissa Prawl came up with nine points as the Hillers took the game 43 to 39. Fourth seeded Hopkinton advances to the Central Division II sectional finals, and they will take on third seeded Medway at WPI game is currently scheduled for Saturday, March 10th at 5.15 p.m., but keep an eye on the MIAA brackets and the HCAM website as recent weather could bring changes to the MIAA schedule. The Hillers moving on.